Hey guys, it's Miss Allen. So today I want to talk to you about how temperatures can affect water. Um, if you go to your sink and you turn your water faucet on, you are going to get a liquid just like this that comes out. It'd be really funny if you turned it on and, uh, you know, it instantly came out as ice cubes. And some of you guys may actually have that feature on your refrigerator. My ice maker is actually broken, so it doesn't work for me. But ice has to be formed by a certain temperature. And that is called freezing or the freezing point of 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And then, um, like I said, you can make that in your freezer. We're going to show that today. I'm going to come back on here in a different clip and show you this very liquid water, um, frozen. And we're going to look at a special thermometer that I have to show the temperature and see what that is. So right now I have um, this thermometer. This is one that you would check your forehead with, but it also has a couple of different modes on the side for um, surface temperatures. And so we're gonna check, here we go. We're gonna check the surface temperature of this water really quick. All right, so this water is 64 degrees right now. And when we freeze it, like I said, it's gonna have to be a lot colder, but when we freeze that water, it's gonna turn into a solid block of ice. And so I will put this in my freezer for a few hours and show you guys and then I'll have to use my special thermometer I'm going to show you um, this actually runs through a smartphone so it has special um, senses to be able to go pretty cold and also to go to some hotter temperatures because at the end of the video we are going to um, melt that water and show it in a different form um, where it gets so hot that it starts actually bubbling and boiling and turning into a gas. All right, so stay tuned. Here is the water inside the freezer. You can see it's still liquid. So we're gonna check back in a few hours and see what happens. Hey guys, so it's been a few hours and as you can see, we have ice, okay? Our um, little cup of water from earlier has come out of the freezer and I wanted to show you guys the temperature of the ice. So I actually have some of the ice in this thermometer. I didn't show you all this thermometer yet. This is kind of an old school one. It's a mercury thermometer. It's got, um, you can see that red stuff right here down in there uh, where you can measure the temperature. So we'll look at that in just a second. But, um, yeah, it's very, very cold, of course. It just came out of the freezer. And um, in just a second, we'll see if we can try to melt this in a little saucepan on the stove. And, um, you know, you can just kind of see how it's one giant ice cube. The water has now gone from a liquid to a solid. So putting it in the freezer did impact it. Um, here is the temperature of that ice. If you look, we're right at 32. Okay, if you look on the left side, that's Fahrenheit. The longer I hold this, it's going to go up. But it was right at 32 degrees. That's awesome. Okay, so next comes uh, adding some heat on the stove. And so watch our next clip. All right, guys, I'm in my kitchen, and I have just... Uh, dump that big ice cube out. You can see it's actually already melting a little bit just from being out of the freezer and having me hold it and push it. Um, so now I'm going to turn the heat on and I'm going to turn it on pretty warm so that it will start melting. But I'll put a little time lapse for you. Hey guys, so after the water melted pretty quickly, since this is not that much water, um, the heat actually started to boil the water. And so all those little bubbles coming up, that's called boiling water. 
And if you're making something like rice or pasta or something, this is how hot you want to get the water to be able to cook that and soften those noodles or rice or whatever. Um, as you can see here on the oven, right about um, eight almost, so pretty hot. If I pick this up, you'll notice it's a red burner, pretty, pretty hot. Um, lots of steam coming up. That's actually now water in the gas form, okay? So steam or water vapor, and again, we can observe that from these little bubbles. So the longer that I keep it on here bubbling, uh, the more and more steam. I'm going to go grab my other thermometer so that we can measure and see how hot this is. Okay, guys, so that water is boiling. I have my uh, smartphone thermometer for this high heat. And I'm just sticking this in. And let's see if we can get a reading. I'm trying to get it right in the water and not on the bottom. So it's changing just a little bit. Looking to be about 210. Uh, boiling point for water is 212 so we're right at that you know we could be just a couple degrees off with the smartphone uh, temperature because really you use this kind of thing for every 10 or so degrees so it might be off by just a few but anyway um, really cool stuff once I have heated my water this much that's when I get the steam and I can change from a liquid to a gas. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching water in the different states. And now check out your Google form and answer the questions that we have. See ya!